Blackboard Building Blocks for Newbies, NewbieCasts. This NewbieCast is Inside Building Blocks, and I'm Michael Fudge. Welcome. In this screencast, we'll take a peek inside the Building Blocks architecture, try and correlate the settings in your bbmanifest.xml file to what actually happens on your Blackboard Learn Server instance when the building block is installed. As you probably heard, your building block is really just a Java uh, web application. And so in its simplest form, these building blocks are just pages in folders on your Blackboard server instance. Let's see where they get placed. And OK, here's my development machine. First and foremost, this is my setup of Blackboard Learn 9.1 Service Pack 6. It's installed on my local machine. I have uh, logged in as the administrator, and I'm at the System Admin tab. You probably already know this, but if you go under Building Blocks, there's an option to go to Installed Tools, and this was where it lists off all the building blocks you have installed on your Learn server. If you go to any particular building block in, as an example, for example, I'm going to use my Quizlet building block. I can go and see that this is currently available, and it is available at the system level and at the course org level. And if I click on view components, I can see that there are two entry points in this building block. One is a custom content type, the other is in the administrator's panel. And you've probably seen a walkthrough of the Quizlet building block before, so if I just quickly go back, I can demonstrate. Um, for my Quizlet building block, if I click Settings, it'll take me to the About page, and I see that About page. If you notice in the URL, I don't see About.jsp. I see a different URL entirely, which is um, because this is engulfed in a frame. If you were to look at this with Firebug, you can do some peeking around embedded in a frame right here takes a little bit of peeking around, but you can see that it's actually a, an iframe. Okay. So, if I go and look at my project here, uh, I have, you know, this about page about JSP, and this is the page that you're seeing here. Right. So at this point, what I have here is, you know, just this Java web application, and when when I package this up, is a war file. And build this war file. To install it in Blackboard Learn, I go back to the admin panel and go to Building Blocks and Install Tools and Upload Building Block browse and then find your building block open it and then this uploads it to the server unzips it and installs it into a folder on your server so you might be wondering you know where exactly did it put that so the, this is what I want to show you. I want to show you kind of where where it puts that this is useful if you're trying to kind of figure out um, what's going on with one of the other building blocks that's installed on here and you want to kind of learn how they did their markup and whatnot. It's quite useful. So if you go to the file system, there's a folder under your Blackboard install called content and then VI BB Learn plugins and then under the plugins folder is vendor name, project name, IST Quizlet. Now, where did I get that from? Again, Vendor project. If you open it up, it looks pretty familiar in the web app folder. You'll see that the structure, course, system, and then here's the error JSP. This mirrors 
my web content folder. So it gives you an idea kind of what's happening on the back end when you uh, install that when you install that building block and it gives you a pretty clear idea of what the correlation between what you see in this web interface and what happens on the file system and what occurs inside Eclipse. Thanks for watching this NewbieCast. I hope you found this information useful. My name is Michael Fudge, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.